Hey everybody, it's your man man Moldy Joe here. I'm starting up a new Let's Play. This time I'm playing Medieval 2 Total War. Very interesting game if you ask me. I'm going to be playing with a very interesting faction. I quite enjoy uh, playing as the Moors. They offer a very interesting campaign. Uh, it's very clear that they have um, quite the goal to accomplish. they got to take out Spain and Portugal, secure the Iberian Peninsula, and uh, from then on out, who knows? Uh, the game says that we lack strong late period units, yet right down there it shows off this unit right here, Camel Gunners. Come on, man, when we unlock, unlock those, we are going to have a lot of fun with some Camel Gunners. Those guys are freaking awesome. Also, we got some of the best, believe it or not, we got some of the best heavy infantry in the game. You can recruit uh, Christian guards, which are uh, sort of like mercenary Christian knights, and they have great stats. They're incredible. They fight mounted and dismounted. So all around, the Moors have uh, great soldiers you can recruit. They have a very clear-cut goal, take out the Christians in the Iberian Peninsula. And uh, the thing about Medieval 2 is that it offers these special events keep on popping up all over the time, like the invasion of the Mongols and then later the Timurids. You have to survive the, the bubonic plague. And uh, who knows, later on maybe we'll discover that the world is round and start bringing some troops to the Americas. So all around we got ourselves a great campaign lined up and uh, I guess let's just take it on from here. From African roots to conquest on the Iberian Peninsula, the Moors have established for themselves a reputation as fierce warriors. They are a people united by religion, yet divided by mistrust and rivalries. and their warlords, though fierce, remain directionless. The strength of a mighty ruler is needed to unite them into the empire they could become. And a great empire we will become. So that's a nice little interesting cinematic. The year is 1080 AD, and let's see what the situation is that we have inherited. Here's our capital, uh, dangerously right on the frontier of uh, Portugal, over here, and Spain right here, I believe. And she's, what is it, Leon? No, it's, uh, I forgot the name of the city right there. What do you know? Anyways, so... Here's what the Moors have. We got some settlements here in North Africa, which is nice because worst comes to worst, we can always leg it back to North Africa and regroup. Uh, but I do not plan on letting that happen. Here's our Sultan, Sultan Tar. He is really old. He's, he's going to die soon. I could have turned him into a great leader, but uh, alas, time is working against me. So maybe I'll have to turn to someone else. Do I really have that few family members? My eyes. Yeah, I only have two generals in my army. That's that's not that's not nice. <laughs> so one thing I do know, just from playing the game, is that there's a city or a settlement right here, and then there's a settlement right over here, both of which have uh, great resources. You can barely see. There's just a big old pile of gold over here. Here's some ivory. Slaves, which was a valuable resource at that time. And, uh... My ears are whenever the spies say that, I always get, get this horrible thought. My ears are yours! And he's, like, ripping his ears off and hand it. Regardless, I always find that funny, but, uh... Maybe I'm just being weird. My ears are yours. 
I put them in this little box and put a bow on it. Do you like my ears? Anyways. So, let's see what we got going on. Who can we recruit? What shall we be doing? We got a castle up here in Granada. I can upgrade it, but it won't really do me any good just yet. Okay, so there's two ways I could go about this. I could choose to have a defensive strategy or a aggressive strategy. How can I be so aggressive early on? I don't have a lot of resources at my disposal, but what I do have is this imam right here. Or imam, I don't know how it's pronounced. It's a Islamic uh, holy man, I suppose. And what he can do is he can call jihads. Christians can declare crusades, and uh, so this is sort of the counterpoint to that. So what I think I'll do is I'll move these guys up to uh, Cordoba, and uh, why not get these guys out there too. And I'll just gather up all of my forces. How may I serve, Sultan? Recruit some more dudes up here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to strike hard, strike very early. And hopefully I could take out Spain in like five, six turns maybe? I don't know. Oh god, you're cutting your eyes out now. Stop giving me body parts. Ugh, it's disgusting. Okay. Now, as for this guy, I think I can afford to take my time a little bit. Only a little. But, uh, oh, I, I do have a, another governor in here. His name is Kasim. Coolio. I think for the first turn, I'm just going to give roads everywhere so I can cover a lot of ground. And roads only take one turn to build. And, uh, yeah, they only take one turn to build. And they help my troops get around faster. And they create more money for me. So, all good things. Let's see. One of these are, uh, yeah, Desert Cavalry is Jav Cav, Arab Cavalry is Regular Cavalry, so. I think I'll take both of them. Alright, let's end our first turn. Okay, we got stuff built in all of our settlements. I'm gonna group up all my military forces. This place is gonna be fine. Oh, one thing I also gotta remember to do auto manage those taxes. Oh, yeah, I should move my diplomat around too. So I'm gonna go after Spain first. And, uh. That should be fine with me. Spain, if I bum rush them before they get to grow, uh, become too powerful, then all the better for me. I should be able to uh, to move this army pretty pretty nicely around. As far as I know, there's not too many. Defenders here, and they're not too great. Worst comes to worst, I could just wait them out in a siege and still win. So, let's see, what else should I build? Um, I'll build some primitive farms so I can boost my population. That'll let me upgrade my uh, settlements earlier on. probably going to turn Granada into a town eventually because they got a pretty good castle up here the Spaniards do. And I'll just take that for myself. Ooh, crossbows. Let me get some of those. Get two crossbows. 
I don't think the Moors can actually recruit crossbowmen of their own. That's just not their style. They do have these desert archers, which have very long range. They don't have the best missile attack, but they're pretty good. They're even better when fighting in deserts, but, you know. I don't want to be taking any fights to the desert. Oh, alright. Got a new mission to have four units in, in my capital. Uh, I'll, maybe I'll do it, maybe I won't, who knows. But here I'm going to go ahead, going to call for a jihad on uh, Leon. Yeah. Alright, that's what I'll do. I'll call a jihad on Leon, their capital. I'll take out Toledo in the meantime. Ah. Uh, yeah, I'll do it. It's a risk because if you spend too much time screwing around, your forces are just not going to be happy with you and they'll start. They'll start uh, rebelling. Where are these guys? These guys are sort of like religious fanatics. They have hardly any defense, but uh, they got a good attack. Recruit some Ghazis, though. These guys are great. Early game, pretty good. Yes, noble master. Yes. Toledo. Yes, Sultan. No more wards. Who's this Rule guy? Vasco. Soul. Whatever. <laughs> Was that an attack? Also, when you are on a jihad or a crusade, all of your uh, troops have no upkeep. They are free, which is great. So that lets you expand uh, your economy while still being very aggressive. Let's see, maybe I can get a port up and running. That'll give me some more money. More money is always nice. So I called a jihad on Leon, and just for joining in the in the jihad, my sultan uh, is becoming more chivalrous. All right, let's. Oh, hold on. I'm gonna go ahead and talk to the Portuguese. Trade rights, map information. Uh, you want to form an alliance? Ooh, maybe they'll say yes. Okay, how about trade rights? They'll accept that. Trade map information. Uh, let's make a counter offer, alliance, and all attack Spain. No, nope, they don't want to form an alliance just yet. Either way, I'm pretty sure I know where their settlements are. There's one here. That's their capital. And then they have a castle up here. Pamplona, I think it is. Anyways. Let's see what Spain's going to do. I think uh, they might just run straight towards my capital. I would not appreciate, but I think I'll be able to defend it pretty easily. And it says I've joined my own jihad. What is the Sultan's will? Another thing I can do, I'll recruit some Turkmen's, why not? Another thing I can do to uh, increase the effectiveness of this early move is get this guy to join the jihad even though I don't plan on actually using him in any jihad-ish uh, endeavors because when you're in a jihad you get insane movement points also when you're crusading so that's nice definitely I'll build some siege towers Get some ladders. 
I'm not really a fan of, uh, yeah, this guy has only has cavalry, so that's going to be great. I won't have to worry about taking any walls or anything. Recruit some more Gazis. These guys are a good light infantry. They carry axes. Most infantry in the early game is just spearmen, which makes for a fairly boring start of the game if you want to be, if you want me to be honest with you. But by my tactic of starting off with a jihad, uh, I should be able to get some cheap units that are a little bit more effective than just spamming spear militia. I'm going to Masajid right now. I'll uh, spread my religion a little bit better. And I'm going to need my, my Imams because uh, a Jihad is a very useful tool. One that I am going to use uh, frequently. <laughs> really, the, the Pope is angry at me for attacking a Catholic faction. How about that? Coming of age, who's this guy? Oh, he is. He does not have a lot of skills. Oh, but he has one skill that is very important. Night Fighter is a great skill to have. It lets you attack. Um, lets you attack factions at night, and make it impossible for enemies to reinforce their troops should they have troops nearby. So that's very, very useful. How old is this guy? He's 37. I can recruit Sudanese tribesmen here if I need to. They're really good in the uh, early game. Compared to, you know, obviously, all those... Oh, shut up about your ears, that's so gross. <laughs> yeah, compared to spearmen, Sudanese tribesmen are pretty good. Let's see, I'm gonna start moving my diplomat. I don't I don't wanna have anything to do with Spain. Spain is already dead in my mind, so I'm gonna like move them up and talk to France. Meanwhile, I think now is a good time to go ahead and take the walls. Yeah, there's their king, King Alfonso right here. This guy's going down, he's just got a bunch of like these guys, Genites, they're javelin cav, and some mailed knights. Should be able to do pretty well. <laughs> Believe it or not, I don't have as much spearmen as I wish I would have. But can I recruit mercenaries? Yes, I can. I'm going to just recruit some mercenary spearmen right outside the castle gates. This will make this fight a lot easier. Trust me on this one. So it's already turn three, and we're going to be halfway to destroying Spain. <laughs> 